everyone this is ravindra babu welcome back to my channel silver 90s biolet in this video we are going to talk about the third and final experiment of search for genetic material that is hershey and a chase experiment the two scientists alfred hershey and martha chase uh, did their experiment in the year 1942 and this experiment is an unequivocal experimental proof of dna acting as a genetic material or dna is acting as a transforming principle in this experiment they worked on they worked on t2 bacteriophages t2 bacteriophages and uh, E. coli cells are E. coli bacteria and uh, they use radio labeled uh, radio labeled uh, sulfur and uh, phosphorus the radio labeled sulfur they use is S35 and the radio labeled passport they used was P32 which are very very important for a neat point of view and the principle the experiment are based on is transduction transduction before we going to discuss this experiment in detail first uh, we need to clear the two questions the first one is why this hershey and chase they use radio labeled sulfur and phosphorus in their experiment and the second question is why they use e coli cells and t2 bacteriophages for their experiment first let me clear the first one say if you take a bacteriophage bacteriophage consists of a capsid and uh, which encloses genetic material the genetic material may be a dna or rna so this is a capsid the capsid is made up of proteins made up of what uh, proteins proteins in turn made up of amino acids amino acids there are 20 amino acids involving in the formation of a protein molecule among this 20 amino acids there are two amino acids say cysteine and uh, methionine which consists sulfur so these amino acids are said to be as a sulfur containing amino acids here the conclusion is the capsid is consists sulfur keep remember this and if we come to genetic material this is what a genetic uh, material genetic material is generally a nucleic acid here the nucleic acid is what a the nucleic acid is a double stranded dna this double stranded dna in turn consists what nucleotides here the nucleotides are what the structural units of dna and uh, rna these nucleotides in turn consists of a phosphate group along with the pentose sugar and uh, nitrogen bases here the conclusion is this genetic material the double stranded dna consists phosphorus keep remember these two points and and now let us come to the second question what is the second question the question is why they use the e coli cells because the experiment is based on a principle that is a transduction here what is transduction transduction is a process in which a, a genetic material gets transferred from one bacterium to another bacterium by the agency of bacteriophages here the bacteriophages are involving in the transfer of genetic material or transfer of a transforming principle from one bacterium to another bacterium 
these bacterial phages are the viruses which infects a bacterial cells if we come to transformation transformation is transfer of genetic material from one bacterium to another bacterium through the medium in which those bacteria are growing this is the basic difference between the transduction and a transformation and during this a process of transduction what happens here this is a bacterial phase it is infecting a bacterial cell that bacterial cell is considered to be as host cell after infection this bacterial phase it sends its uh, dna into the bacterial cell okay this viral dna whichever enter into the bacterial cell it gets integrates with the bacterial dna this is a bacterial dna so that whenever it integrates with the bacterial dna the bacteria treats this viral dna as of its uh, own dna so that in subsequent uh, replication here the viral particles are also undergo replication along with the bacterial dna so that along with the bacterial dna many copies of viral dna also will be formed in the final stage these viruses viral these viral dna molecules they comes out of the bacterial dna and start uh, and starts the synthesis of a protein capsids around them finally to become a new viral particles these new viral particles they may have the combination of viral dna and some amount of bacterial dna these are hybrid viral particles whenever these hybrid viral particles infects another bacterial cell then they involves in the transfer of the dna of a previous host into the new host this is what the way by which the bacteriophages are transferring the dna from one bacterium cell to another bacterium cell in this regard of hershey and chase experiment the point what we have to concentrate in this is which material of virus is getting transferred into the bacteria whether it is protein molecule or a dna molecule by this here we can say that the dna is entering into the host cell whichever the particle of virus entering into the bacteria is considered to be as a genetic material or transforming principle by today we know very well that the dna is a transforming principle but by the time of hershey and chase nobody knows whether dna of virus or protein of virus is entering into the bacteria in order to discover this hershey and chase conducted this experiment and finally they came to know that the dna is entering from virus to bacteria so that dna is the transforming principle to this experiment they conducted in two parts hershey and chase they conducted their experiment in two parts and each part consists of four steps these are the four steps one is culturing infection blending and uh, centrifugation in the first part of their experiment culturing they prepared a culture medium containing radio labeled uh, sulfur so that this medium is s35 medium on this medium they allowed to grow the bacterio phages for several generations here the point we have to keep in mind is viruses are the inert particles outside the host and they lacks a cellular metabolism so that we cannot culture the bacterial phages or the virus on at any culture medium here the culturing of bacterial phages on the culture medium is nothing but the culturing of infected bacterial cells keep remember this point okay so after growing this bacterial phages on a medium for several generation they got a new bacterial phages these new bacterial phages are having a radio labeled uh, protein capsid radio labeled protein capsid and normal dna this is the normal dna without any radio activity why this capsid is radio labeled and why this dna is normal without radio activity because the protein consists of the capsid consists of a protein protein consists of a sulfur so at the time of manufacturing of this protein capsid in this medium they utilize the radio labeled sulfur so that the protein capsid became radio labeled 
but at the time of manufacturing the dna it doesn't utilize this uh, radioactive sulfur because it doesn't consist a sulfur so that the dna became normal okay this is what about the first step uh, culturing in the second step of the experiment that is infection they made this new bacteriophages to infect the host cell here the host cell is e coli cell e coli bacteria during this infection this bacteriophage first it gets attached to the surface of a bacteria and after it sends its dna into the bacterial cell after sending its dna into the bacterial cell the simply a protein capsid remain outside the surface of the host cell this uh, protein capsid without dna present outside the host cell is called a host then as the infection is uh, proceeded they agitated this mixture of bacterial cells and uh, bacteriophage uh, particles to separate this ghost particles from the surface of the bacterial cell or the host cell this process of a separation of a ghost from the host is called blending after this blending they went for the last uh, step in their experiment that is centrifugation upon centrifugation a lightweight particles forms a supernatant at the top of the centrifugation tube and a uh, heavyweight particles forms a pellet at the bottom of the centrifugation tube here what are the lightweight particles the lightweight particles are the ghost particles these are the lightweight uh, particles so that they form a supernatant in the centrifugation tube upon centrifugation and what are the heavyweight particles the bacterial cells are the heavyweight uh, particles so that they form a pellet in the centrifugation tube upon centrifugation as i have already told that whatever the viral particle that enters into the bacterial cell is considered to be as a transforming principle or a genetic uh, material here if the protein is a transforming principle that could enter into the bacterial cell so that we could find the radioactivity in the pellet but uh, radioactivity we find in the supernatant that means the protein is not the transforming principle if protein is not the transforming principle then what would be the transforming principle there is only one alternate that is a dna so in order to confirm that dna is a transforming principle here they perform the second part of their experiment in the second part of their experiment also they follow the same experimental steps one is a culturing infection blending and a centrifugation but the difference is here they prepared a culture medium containing radio labeled uh, phosphorus that is a p32 medium here also they allowed these bacteriophages to grow on this medium for several generation and finally they got a new bacteriophages having radio labeled uh, dna this new bacteriophages are having what a radio labeled uh, dna but the protein capsid is normal the protein capsid is normal normal capsid you know the reason behind this because the dna consists of a phosphorus so at the time of manufacturing the newly synthesized dna got radio labeled a phosphorus so that it is showing the radio activity but in the case of protein capsid protein it doesn't consists of a phosphorus so that at the time of manufacturing it doesn't get any radio labeled phosphorus so that it remain normal okay. after this in the next step of their experiment they allowed this new bacteriophages to infect the e coli cells here the e coli cells are the host cells here also okay during this infection what happens this bacteriophage it gets attached to the host cell and it sends its dna into the host cell into the host cell after sending its dna it remain on the surface of the host cells as a ghost ghost is nothing but a bacteriophage having only a protein capsid okay this is what the infection step uh, then as the infection is uh, proceeded they agitated this mixture of 
a ghost and a host to separate the ghost from the host cell that separation of ghost particles from the host cell after infection is called a blending the last step is the centrifugation upon centrifugation the lightweight particles of this mixture forms a supernatant at the top of the centrifugation tube and the heavy weight particles of this mixture forms a pellet at the bottom of the centrifugation tube you know very well that the lightweight particles are the ghost particles and the heavy weight particles are the bacterial cells as i already you know that the viral particle which ever enter into the bacterial cell is considered to be as a genetic material or transforming principle here the dna that entered into the bacterial cell and so that we could find we could find the radioactivity at the pellet and no radioactivity in the supernatant this indicates that the dna is a transforming principle not the protein this is an unequivocal experimental proof for the dna as acting as a genetic material or transforming principle thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe my channel